bless me about my life, man. I love it. I love it. Got so many. We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Jets. Here's the punter, Braden Man, set to do the honors, and we are underway at MetLife Stadium. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Dak going to start out going to the air. That is caught by Lamb. Finding room at midfield. He's at the 30. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum, but you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now Hall to start the drive. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. First down to start the drive, 12 yards. First down, right back to Hall. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first down, Wilson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Does that throw a ride? Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. He finds Corey Davis. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. 
He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, it's home. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Ball again on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll run with Hall. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Paul again. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 48 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Steps away, and he's going to drop this off to his fullback. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. On second down, a run with Hall. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. On third down, here's Hall. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Sneak with Wilson. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. We just totally get the sense there that a field goal was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh, that's a great point there. Being able to get lower than the defensive front, create just enough space, and I love when those quarterbacks get low and slide in there and get it done. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. You get down near the goal line, you need to start enlisting the help of all 11 guys on the defense. And that's a nice job there by the cornerback, squaring his shoulders and coming in to make the tackle. He'll try again. Yeah, this time he'll get down close to the goal line, but not quite in as he stopped at the one yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. 
But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Only a yard on the sneak, not enough. And he's a few inches short for fourth down. Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal. So they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Jets' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Zerline connects on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. now as they kick it away from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he will be brought down here inside the 20 good coverage as he's dropped at the 17 About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll give him four yards there, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Schultz. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Prescott to throw it. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 21. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Everybody. 
from the 21 and second and 10. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing, Prescott. And he's got it. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Final play of the half, Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. He's at the 50. 30. 20. 10. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. He just had to hold on to the ball. How about that for a momentum swing? You had a goal to go. Not only do you cough it up, but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown. And now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was. Terrific drive. Looked like you're going to get points. Instead, the other team registers them on the scoreboard. Zero line good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL. Audio Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now Wilson on first down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. Sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said. They got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now it's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is taken at the 15. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Now Prescott. Left side of the lane. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. 
Extra point by Moore, up and good. And we are tied at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Berrios now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. A route running savvy and toughness. There's a premium for all of that now. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Catch made right side by Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Straight ahead is Hall, and he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 43. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Wilson. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to the ground with Hall. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Give up the middle. 
He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards a game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the shotgun, Wilson. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. This to break our fourth quarter tie. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they take a 17-14 lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Quick hitter here. It's complete. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. set up the run and that's what they've done throughout this game they've aired it out throwing it around the yard now they've come back to the running game and they find a way to be successful with it and a short gain here down to the 22 just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine i like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a w in the mind of the play caller all you want to hear is tick 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 now dak set up the screen it's complete and he's gonna lose yards they take him down at the 26 it'll be a loss of four yards on the play and that'll make it third and 13. Oh, i know it goes against the green here it totally goes against it but you've got to drop the ball in that situation he makes the catch but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds flush to his right and he can't get a throw away he's taken down John Franklin Myers in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And that is no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. 
pressure kick, and I thought he was going to hit it. I thought we were destined for overtime, but not the case. Not at all, and they were already planning for the overtime you just mentioned, already saying, okay, what are we going to do if we get the ball? What happens on defense? Instead of that celebration and that little bit of euphoria, it turned into letdown city. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they will take a knee here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And they take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. take over right the way that you close the way that you finish that gets preached to you from the time you're playing little league football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch 